Welcome to Wales Today, our top stories. Details emerge of a possible management buyout of Tata Steel's UK operations. Our business correspondent Brian Meekin will have the latest. And accused of forcing vulnerable men to work against their will, four men go on trial at Cardiff Crown Court. Good evening. BBC Wales understands that the man who has been running Tata Steel's operations in Portalbert and Llanwern is launching a bid for the management buyout of the company's operations in the UK. Tata asked for expressions of interest in its UK businesses after they were put up for sale. Over 6,000 jobs are at risk in Wales unless a buyer can be found. Our business correspondent Brian Meakin is here. Brian, what's the latest tonight? Well, we believe that Stuart Wilkie, who is one of the lead directors in the UK of Tata, he was at the forefront of the announcement and the plan earlier in January for 750 job losses at Tata, um, mainly at Portal, but it has to be said, he was the lead director who was out speaking to the media when Llan Wern was mothballed last year. He is an incredibly significant figure and we believe that he is now in a position to launch a management buyout plan bringing together other people in the company and organisation to put forward a proposal to take over Tata's UK operations. Now, of course, we, it's been well reported Tata is losing a million pounds a day at Port Talbot. That still remains a problem. There are difficulties with the pension pot. It's £500 million in debt at the moment. These are all issues that aren't going to go away with this management buyout. However, it's a very serious contender, but it will need the UK government, as any deal, as any buyer will need the UK government to significantly support it financially. So what would this mean for the Welsh sites? Ultimately, it would mean that someone would be coming along with experience of running this industry and, and experience of running these sites in particular, and they would take that over. And I think what's crucial about that is, I believe, the plan would be to remain with a blast furnace and making steel from scratch. Now, the only other um, buyer on the table, or certainly publicly, has been Liberty Steel in Newport. It wants to change that from making steel from scratch into recycling steel, an arc furnace. There's been a lot of concern about that ultimately within the unions about potential job losses, although Liberty say they can retrain people. The union have said tonight that they would welcome any prompt discussion with Stuart Wilkie on any, and any management bio option, which I think is quite significant. They really want the UK government to look into that and look into it very seriously. Brian, thanks for that update. The trial has been